Hi, this is Betty Ann Fleener. I'm the music specialist at Elizabeth D. Red Elementary School in Richmond Public Schools. And this is a beginning music lesson for students and their parents and family to do at home. And this is in special, a special uh, video for our Arts in Our Schools Month for March 2021. This is a uh, composition that we're going to do an art project with today. So it's a combination art and music. And the piece of music was written for two pianos originally, and then a very small ensemble. The recording we're gonna to listen to today is a transcription where uh, an arranger has taken all those parts and put it in one piano. I like this recording because they have the camera right above the keyboard so you can see the person's hands moving. And then they've done a really cool thing in the background. You can see different animals and it matches up with the different parts of Carnival of the Animals. This recording, though, does not have all 14 movements. I'm not sure why they don't have all of those. So I'm going to share with you a, um, a document that's going to help us as we go through this process. Hopefully on your screen, your screen, you're seeing Carnival of the Animals, and that's the name of the composition. And it was a suite for two pianos and additional instruments. And it was written in 1886 with originally 14 movements. This was written by the composer Claude Debussy, who was a French composer. And his music was very late Romantic period, early modern. Many people like to call him an impressionist musician going along with the impressionist artists of that time. He did not like that that title. Uh, he lived from 1862 until 1918. The recording we're going to uh, watch has the introduction and it has the Royal March of the Lion. Then it will have wild donkeys, tortoises, an elephant, aquarium, cuckoo, and the finale. One of the most famous pieces from this uh, group of um, movements is the swan. And unfortunately, that one is not in this group. And that's played many times by cello and uh, piano. And there was um, a piece of music uh, arranged for those two instruments. One of the interesting things about this uh, composition is that Debussy wrote it as just something fun to write. He got some friends together. It was just something uh, that they would play privately at home. And uh, it was more of just kind of a lark, just something fun to do. People ask him many, many times, please have it published. He said, no, I'm afraid if it's published that people will not think of me as a serious composer. But he did give permission for the piece to be um, published after his death. There are arrangements of this with all orchestra, and actually it's usually a pretty big orchestra. And then the original one, of course, was two pianos. Debussy was a very good pianist. I have listed the YouTube recording here. Um, and so basically you just need to go to YouTube, type that into the little search, and it will go right to it. The materials that you'll need for this project are paper, and you can use big pieces of paper, you can use smaller pieces, that's up to you. And really any kind of, of uh, medium as far as crayons, markers, color pencils, if you wanna do watercolors, that's up to you. Oils. All right, here are your directions. You're going to listen to one section of the piece and then draw a picture to represent what you have heard. Now you might want to do the actual animal, or if you want to do something that is an idea that you get when you listen to it. You can draw one section on one piece of paper and make a booklet. So you can take the seven sections, staple it, make a little booklet, or you can draw each section on one big piece of paper and make a piece of artwork to hang on the wall. So you could do all seven and spread them across the paper. 
So I hope that you have fun making uh, this your own carnival of the animals and um, have fun with it. Thanks so much.